Hattons have delivered some high quality wagons in recent years, so when the need arose for me to extend my intermodal rake to carry some new container stock, I thought I'd check out these two offerings. I wasn't disappointed. Hi, thanks for joining today's review. So we're going to kick off with a short unboxing and then we'll do the usual close-up view of these two wagons. Uh, we'll then do a very short running session and then we'll get into the summary scoring and the final recommendation. Okay, let's get underway. Hi, okay, we've got to the unboxing stage. So we're looking at uh, two wagons here from Hattons. Uh, one is in the GBRF blue. And you can just see the model number there, H4FEAS-001A. That's a single intermodal wagon. And uh, we'll look at the box in a minute. And we've got one in a Freightliner livery, which is the HAFEAE-001A. Okay, so we're going to take a look at both of these. And um, we'll also give these a run on the, the layout later on to see how they perform. So let's just take this guy out. So it comes in this... Um, styrofoam packaging and it's got space here for three containers which is actually pretty nice so if you've got three four, uh, 20 foot containers uh, they'll fit in there now if you've got a 40 foot and a 20 foot then um, you'll either have to take the hacks out or um, uh, take a blade out to this to extend it or just store it separately but a nice feature I guess uh, to do it so let's just take this guy out of the, uh, the packaging altogether I'll leave that package to the side so this one is in the um, GBRF livery and you get a, a small, I suppose it's not quite a detailing kit because um, you've got a, a drawbar coupler there and you've got the little pegs for the containers uh, which you plug into the little holes at the edge to give you uh, connectivity into containers. So it's, it's, um, it's a nice weight, it's solid metal construction, the main body of this is, is metal and then there's detailed parts. And some quite fine detail parts on this and um, we'll do the usual kind of side on view and 360 views but just looking straight up I think you can kind of see some of the sort of detail there uh, that's on this it doesn't have rotating axle boxes um, but there's a nice nice detail on the bogey um, it's got the standard uh, got nail coppers either side so it's got a socket either side so this differs from a lot of the intermodal um, wagons that you'd see which actually would have a two wagons of this size with a drawbar between them and that would be like a more typical configuration so this one uh, doesn't have that um, it actually has a um, you've got standard couplers either end now I actually prefer that because I think these actually work a little bit better than the the drawbar and they're easier on your layout the drawbar you have to screw it in uh, there's a little screw usually to disconnect it uh, so when you're taking one of those off the, the layout you kind of have to bring both of them off together and then tip it over to unscrew if you want to actually separate out the two um, parts of the, of the wagon so I actually like this format that, that Hattons have here um, so let's t we'll get it what we're going to do now is get a couple of uh, containers and actually just take a look at what they look like on the wagon just to see what the fit looks like uh, and then we can get into um, looking we'll look at the, the freight liner and then we'll go on and take a look on the a close-up view okay okay so we've magically uh, conjured up uh, some of these containers uh, these are from sea rail these are actually the blanks that you can get you can get the kind of uh, blank container like this and you it's up to yourself then to uh, decorate it and weather it or whatever you want to do with it um, so these are 20 foot containers and uh, I'm not putting in the little pegs <coughs> but just showing you I suppose what the configuration looks like uh, so that would be with um, the 320s and obviously we can swap two of them out and put in our, um, our 40 foot um, so it's a tight enough fit uh, but it's good it's a good fit uh, so we're going to see that guy i think on the on the uh, layout now in a little while so as i say nice levels of detail on this we will do a 360 view of both of them. Um, there's no sprung buffers, but I wouldn't really expect that on a, a wagon like this. There are some detailed parts, so you do need to be careful here. There's a, 
there's some underbody detail and you can see some quite quite detailed pieces there so handle with care so the body is a rigid you know it's a, a steel body on it and it's got some good weight on it so it's it low very low center of gravity okay so that's that's that one the gbrf blue and there are so that's the gbrf blue and there are a number of running number options so you can build up a rake with uh, a couple of running numbers and let's just take out the uh, the freightliner green that's in that bright freightliner green there's the freightliner logo there and again the same format as before same sort of weight and same levels of detail overall the level of detail is good the, the, there's a quality feel to these um, you know so they, they are good so we'll run this in a mixed rake with some dapo intermodal wagon so we've got to look at the two of them together in the running session but my impressions of this right now is this this is a good quality look to it was it kind of bent in there with this easy you can you can straighten it up again so there's much for that the little buffers have a little bend on them which is probably no harm when you're taking a curve okay so these look good out of the box solid weight we'll give them a weigh in as well before we um, do the final summary and uh, we'll take a look at uh, a close-up view now Okay, now we're going to get into a close-up view and we'll take a run across the wagon here and we're starting off with the Freightliner and you can see the kind of side detail there separately fitted parts some a good level of detail uh, the nice Freightliner logo overall a nice finish a nice paid finish uh, we've got the little pegs installed there for a 40 foot and 20 foot container configuration uh, you can see the nice lettering there uh, some clean bogies uh, so overall a, a very nice looking wagon uh, for what it is and again with the GBRF here we've got the uh, kind of yellow uh, caps there uh, on the axle boxes and again similar level of details uh, similar uh, added parts you have to be a little bit careful with these um, when you lift them uh, just lift them on the, the metal edges so that you don't damage any of that detail and again uh, good paintwork there nice nice GBRF logo and uh, those end buffers, uh, those end buffers are, are kind of flexible and uh, which is probably good. You can straighten them out and make them that they're straightened out here. Uh, but if they if there's uh, pressure put on them, they, they'll actually move. They won't they won't break, uh, which is probably OK. So if you're taking a, a very sharp turn, uh, there may be instances where they do actually run up against each other and at least you won't have any breakage. So just looking at the kind of um, drone's eye view of the two wagons and uh, uh, you know they're pretty standard fare but they are good quality uh, i think and i do like this configuration of having the standard couplers at either end it just really does make it so much handier moving these around the layout uh, instead of having to lift off the two wagons together uh, with containers on them or whatever or, or and just trying to manipulate them so now we're going to get into the running session and um, there's a full running session uh, with this class 70 uh, so i'll put a link in the description uh, the first two wagons are the two wagons we're looking at here uh, the freight liner followed by the GBRF. So just getting, and then there is followed by a variety of Dapple um, wagons here, including a couple of Mega Fresh uh, wagons. But they're all they're all Dapple, and there's one uh, red wagon in there that's actually a Fleischmann, but uh, uh, which is actually a, an HO gauge uh, wagon. Uh, so these are running primarily sea rail containers on them, and that's I had purchased some new sea rail containers, and that was the reason I wanted to. Uh, to get some wagons to carry them. So you can see them go around the bend there. Uh, now, if you see a little flutter on that bell container, uh, one of the little pegs was actually missing. Uh, mistake by mine. And so you, you see him move around a little bit. And that's, that's not the wagon moving, that's just the container. And um, uh, so, uh, those guys are easy. If you don't glue them in, they're easy to, to pop out sometimes. So this is running at the kind of top end of the speed for the Class 70 here. Um, I think these, and, and all these wagons do perform really well. I was very pleased with them. Had some squeaky wheels in the Dapple wagons, but I, I fixed that with a bit of oil. Uh, but all these wagons worked really well. And uh, the, the Hatton's wagons were, were absolutely fine and absolutely no problems in the running session. Uh, they are running on Radius 3 track here. Um, I did notice a little bit of tightness when they're running around uh, Radius 2. Uh, they will run on Radius 2. Uh, but there you are just a you just notice a little bit of extra friction a little bit of extra tightness and resistance 
uh, on the Radius 2. Uh, but I've had trouble with the DAP holes on Radius 2 as well, so that's uh, that's nothing against um, the Hatton's wagons, but uh, yeah, just something to be aware of. So we're just coming to a close here on the running session. As I said, there's a full running session of this, you can you can uh, pick that up in the description, and it's just to give you a feel for uh, what these wagons actually look like out on the track, and uh, and see them running on the track, and I think they do perform very well. They're, they're an equal to the Dapple wagons, and I think the Dapple wagons are very good. Okay, so now let's take a look at the summary. So we're looking at the Hattons Originals Intermodal Wagons, and they come in two livery options, the Freightliner Green, of which there's five run running numbers. Uh, now one of those is actually fitted with uh, track panel carriers, That's a, I'm not reviewing that here. That is, is also available, that uh, basically puts a kind of a flat surface on top of your intermodal wagon, for purposes of other, uh, other goods that you might want to transport. And then there's the Jeeber F Blue, and there's again four running numbers there. And the one we tested uh, was 64666, and there are uh, three other numbers in that. So you can build up a rake with uh, unique running numbers with both of these. Uh, they're all metal frame construction with uh, a lot of added detail, uh, separately fitted parts. Come with them pockets and uh, t tension lock couplers are pre-fitted. And there is a drawbar in the uh, detailing kit. Uh, the unbox weight is 160 grams uh, and just to give you an idea that's kind of the weight of a typical backman coach passenger coach it actually feels a little bit heavier than that but uh, so it's it's a good weight and a low center of gravity obviously which really helps uh, right now these are actually on offer from hattons at 25 uh, pounds sterling rp is uh, 32 pounds and you pay 50 pounds for the, uh, the the version with the track panel carrier so it is a bit more expensive I think that's a very competitive price. So if you, you put two of these together, which is fifty pounds, uh, that's that's cheaper than probably what you'd pay for a typical uh, intermodal pair from Dapol, for example. Uh, so I think at twenty-five pounds, that's a pretty good price and uh, certainly worth looking at. So in score, in terms of scoring terms, um, so I'm looking at the the running performance, uh, giving this a a four and a half star. I think on the on the Radius 3 curves, radius 4 curves, um, there really isn't any problems at all. A little bit of tightness on the radius 2, and that's, that's the only reason I'm, I'm docking that half a point. I think in terms of appearance and detail, I think they're pretty good overall. I think there's, there's a good level of detail, there's a good paint finish on these. Uh, they do have a good feel to them, they do go, look look well, so I think, uh, you know, a good 4.5 star. There are variants, uh, mul multiple variants as uh, indicated in, um, you know, in terms of four different running numbers for each of the two different wagons. Not an awful lot of extras, I guess. It does have most of the detail are already added to it. So um, I think a, a you know, pretty reasonable score here. Uh, the build quality and packaging, I think, is good. You know, and I think these seem to be quite sturdy. And I didn't have any issues, and I haven't heard of any issues, people getting out of the box problems with these. Uh, price value, I think, at that £25 is, is good and certainly worth considering. And really, in overall, I'm giving this as a kind of recommended rating and uh, four and a half star. And I think, you know, these are good quality wagons. I think if you are in the market for some intermodal wagons, these are a good option for you. Uh, there is that different configuration in terms of uh, the fact that they've got the standard couplers on either end and you don't have the, the drawbar configuration that you typically have. Uh, so if you're looking for the drawbar, well, then, you, you know, you're not going to look here. Uh, I do like this particular configuration. I think it's more flexible because uh, it gives you a bit more flexibility in the makeup of the rake and also removing the wagons from the uh, from your layout, moving them around is a lot easier uh, than if you've got to deal with the drawbar and got to turn it over and screw it, etc. to separate out the two wagons. So overall, recommend it. Uh, well worth looking at. I'm very pleased with them. I'll probably buy one or two more. Uh, so, uh, you know, I think they're definitely check them out if you're in the market for some intermodal wagons. I think Hattons have done a good job here. It's another good quality wagon. I think they have a number of, of good quality wagons in their range. And I think these ones uh, I would be happy with, certainly. And uh, I'll say I'll probably get a couple of more of these. And certainly at that sort of price, well worth looking at. OK, thanks for watching today. I hope this was useful for you. And uh, we'll hopefully see you on the next uh, review. And in the meantime, happy modeling.